What is up, people of the internet? So, just wanted to make a little video, kind of talking about um, a slight issue that I had with the bike, and then a cool little tip and trick that I found out, and then uh, some other things. All right, so yesterday I drove to work, and after I got gas, I noticed that there was fuel leaking from underneath or puddling underneath the bike and I was like what the heck um, and I tried to find it and at the time you know I was trying to go into work so I couldn't really look all that well so after I got home last night and I sat and I thought about it and I said it's got to be like the fuel pump fuel sending unit so if you're not familiar with these the fuel pump is right here and I didn't see like any active dripping or anything like that. So I was like, well, let me just see about tightening these up, tightening these bolts. They were so loose, like it was barely in there at all. So I just went and I tightened them up, snugged them up and uh, rode the bike around and it appears that it's fixed. Now, another thing. Not an issue, but some cool little tip and trick that I found out. So, as m almost everyone knows that owns one of these bikes, and one of the things that you should know about these bikes before you buy it is the headlight, right? So, and don't mind the bike right now, it's filthy. So, the lower light is the, uh, the low beam, and the upper one is the high beam. And the low beam has this really nice, like wide angle. Um, and, and it's, it's pretty sweet, um, but it doesn't project out very far. Now the high beam, it projects out real far, but it's really like focused, like directly in front of the rider. Like everything to the side is illuminated, but it's kind of dim. Um, still better than just using the low beam when you're riding at night, but Again, it's still kind of dim, um, but it also has this little passing light switch right here. So you pull that and it just illuminates both. Now, one thing I noticed when I was riding home was that when you're switching between the high beam and the low beam, right? So high beam, low beam, if when you're switching, both lights come on for just a second. And I'll turn the bike on and I'll show you real quick. So. All right, there's the low beam, there's the high beam. Again, you can see it's really, really focused. Now, one thing that I noticed, so like this, you pull, you pull this switch and you get both lights. But if you slowly press the button and you get it right in the middle both lights will be on and you can actually leave it it'll sit like this it'll sit like this and I actually rode home all the way home last night with it like that and I was able to keep both lights on without it um, switching in between so it'll actually sit and hold like that and you can actually ride no problem and see a lot better. It takes a little bit of finesse. Um, you know, people come the other way, I had to turn the high beam off and then I wanted to turn it back on. Um, but I wanted, you know, both. So, you know, working it with just your thumb, it's a little, a little difficult. It took a couple tries the first time and then the second time I was able to kind of get it, um, you know, without, sitting there flipping back and forth for a little while. So that was actually really, really nice. Um, another thing too, someone had asked me in the, uh, the comments um, about my license plate bracket. So it's nothing super special. It's just a universal mount. Yes, it is zip tied uh, onto the bike, but it's zip tied. This is a metal piece right here and the bolt had come off and it, it kind of hung down a little far anyway. It could look kind of goofy. So I just kind of zip tied it up and then uh, bolted it together and it 
or well, bolted the plate on and it's fine. Um, no, there is no light, so the license plate light is not illuminated. Um, but most fender deletes I've seen, the, uh, they're not illuminated anyway. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Oh, my lens is dirty. Hopefully this video still turns out okay. Um, but yeah, so other than that, no real updates on the bike. Uh, just been riding it. It's at currently, I have 1,015 miles on it. 1,015 miles, so um, it's still run great. No real issues with it. Um, I did find out I can roll a wheelie pretty well in first gear, so that's that's fun. And uh, oh look, there's my gorgeous wife. Hi, baby. Hi. I love, you. love you. She's so pretty. But yeah, um, yeah. Again, uh, no other real issues. Um, no. Uh, just really the bike it runs great and starts every single time um, you know just remember to bolt check everything every once in a while you know motorcycles vibrate a lot so go through and you know check all your bolts tighten everything uh, to spec and you shouldn't have any issues um, when you do see a small issue like that try and track it down as quick as you can and uh, you know, get it fixed so little problems don't become big problems. Um, and uh, let's do lo another little exhaust video, why not? It never hurts, right? I really hope you can see, I'm using my GoPro and uh, a little tripod. guys well till next time like comment and subscribe have a good day